Hello friends and welcome back to Metro 2033. In the last episode, we killed a lot of people. We got through Black Station. We saved some people. We deliv finally delivered that man's message to Polis and we have arrived at Polis ourselves. So this is where we would continue our journey through this dark and mysterious world of post-apocalyptic Russia. Uh, and let's continue. I believe it's time to meet Miller. Yes. Nice, are they? These people. But I think they're in prison, so what do you expect? Welcome to Polis, Captain Krasnov. You've come a long way, young man. Where exactly are you from? He's from the exhibition. What, can't he speak for himself? Look, Captain, it's the kid's first time in Polis. He's been through hell getting here, and he's carrying Hunter's message to Miller. So cut him some slack, huh? All right, all right. Get changed. There's the clothes. You can leave your gear. It'll be safe here. We'll get it back sparkling clean. You go ahead and take some rest, Artyom, and I'll go find Miller. I hope he's not out on a mission. By the way, don't forget to scrub yourself down in the lobby, old man. I won't, I won't. <laughs> you pain in the ass. Would you rather have two-headed kids? <laughs> Idiot. So we got... Our first note entry, we missed that one. We need to go back at some point and grab it. Uh, notes. For as long as I... <clears throat> for as long as I really remember myself, I always had the dream of visiting Polis. The hard and hopeless life underground wears a man down, makes him savage, a beast, and only in Polis does he manage to keep a resemblance to the great people of the past. The ones who'd had the planet in their pocket. Polis is the last refuge of scientists and educators and artists and everyone who'd be deemed useless by other stations. The last citadel of culture and civilization. And, and the stories told in the Metro insist that electric lights were on there day and night through just like it used to be in our past that's never to return Paulus did deliver on all the outrageous expectations I had vast shining gleaning to perfection a real underground city it's four stations united into one rhyme with all the halls of the ancient temples I saw in history books by just being here, you start to feel this incredible energy, start to believe that humanity will once more rise from its knees. If there is a, is a force in the metro capable of saving the, the ex exhibition from the Dark Ones, it must reside here. Oh, well, we will see about that, won't we? Come on! Take some. <coughs> Let's top that up. Max on that. We can sell these because we don't use them. I want to go pee. And where is your ammo? Do Mine's it. here. Now you have to wait. Don't ah. have any more. Don't pop. You're welcome. Me. Then I was waiting for them at the block station. Oh, and by the way, the Nazis did finally entrench there. They're definitely creeping closer to us. What is he? Colonel, sir, report. Dismissed. Take it! At Just the start one of, of those World left. War III, this was the best assault rifle used by the army. It is extremely sought after in the Metro due to its great performance. Oh, I think it's uh, time we open. For you. Just buy and shoot. Time to shoot it in.
Boom. See? We've traded in. What else can we get? Is that it? Artyom, I'm Miller. Where is the message from Hunter? This way. Hmm? Well, thank you for bringing this to Polis. Was a brave thing you did. I'll call an emergency session. When they summon you, you'll report the situation. All council members, please assemble in the council chamber. I repeat, all council members, please proceed to the council chamber. Escort the boy to the council chamber. Uh. Then that's probably meant to be Anna. Look, man, why the fuck do you always drink so much? I had to. You? Fuck that, man. As if you have nothing better to do. Ah, fuck better. Yeah, right. And every time you get pissed That's off, unusual. I end up carrying you. A new face. I sure as hell can Hello. do better. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> man. <laughs> well, once, me and the boys were having a drink. Mood. Well, Actually, you know what? a few drinks. Let's drink. Lots of drinks. <laughs> you might get plastered. What? You're always plastered. Anyways, so we had a few but wanted more. Oh, you weren't saturated by then? Hell no! Sorry, man. Did I interrupt you? <coughs> Sorry, bro. Go on. Yeah. So, we went to have another and realized we're in the fucking tunnel. Hit me again. What the hell? What the fuck if I know? One minute we're leaving the bar and somebody stepped on my hand. Then, we're in the tunnel. Hey, where's my extra drink? Here's your drink. So? So we just looking around and then we see them. Sneaking along the wall. <laughs> what do you need that? Like. Another. Not us. Here you are. So we jump up. It's a caravan. What? And the caravan was some real tough bastards. We barely got the best. Hey, wait a minute. We after all that. What I thought. The fuckers are broke. What? So we decide to sell them to slavers, make some dough. So, what then? So we get them to the station, and we see that they were speedy and talking. Both of them so wasted they couldn't talk. <laughs> so cool. then we had a laugh. Yeah, well, listen to this. Spear says they were attacked in the town. You're right behind the front. The other guy's asses. <laughs> that the attackers are running squirrels. Yes, what do you need? Fuck you guys. I can't have that in I'm going to burst. Stop bothering me. Wait a bit. You can't go in there. It's a high danger zone. Not Nati is going to roast it. Hey, man. Oh, this is council chambers. I'm stunned that the council has refused to help your station. I'm, I'm ashamed that they lack the courage you have already shown. But Polis is not the whole metro. There still are people who will rise up and fight the threat of the Dark Ones. Okay, 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 okay. Listen carefully. The Rangers have found several well-preserved missile bases near the city. Some could probably be activated and deliver a missile strike against the Dark Ones. The problem is that the missiles are supposed to be launched from the command center, D6. But we don't know where that is, or if it's operational. However, we do know where that information can be found. There's a huge library on the surface. Dangerous place, but it contains a secret military archive. We must go there. Okay, we'll split up now to avoid the tension. You'll go up from here. I've already arranged that. 
When you've made your way to the library entrance, I'll be there waiting for you. Okay? Hey, Artyom. Be careful. Mm. Ah, one more thing. When we go back, we'll head straight for Sparta base. My rangers will meet us there. Yep, yep. Sounds good to me, sir. Sounds good to me. Number two. Who said that stupid and pompous phrase about responsibility coming with power? I thought that Polis was the pinnacle of all power in the Metro. It's guards armed to the to, to the two to the tooth in <laughs> its incredible reputation among any faction and station, its stories of food and ammunition, its wealth and prosperity. Polis is the hub of the universe but apparently this hub does not care one bit for some backwater station and the council didn't even want to waste time hearing us out but after re reluctantly agreeing to do so it just la lazily stamped declined on the disparate plea of, of the exhibition and it wasn't just my request that was declined. They did it to Miller, the head of the Rangers. I thought it was all over. If not for Miller and his people, the Rangers are not called an order for nothing. They are a vertibly, vert, 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 nightly order. Nightly order, a state within a state, a brotherhood of people sworn to uh, to to oaths, adherence to which. They value higher than their lives, and the rangers are sworn to protect the metro from all the dangers threatening its dwellers, no matter what station they live at or what they believe. Okay. Well, I mean, let's see. Let's go! It's been emotional, gentlemen. Uh, see you later. The council's decision shocked me, but Miller's plan gave me hope. Once more, I climbed up to the bones of Moscow to search for the secret of D6 and a way to awaken the horde of missiles. At least now the music isn't so loud. <laughs> Onto the alley. <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. We've got a new mask. We've got a new machine gun. Oh, that looks a bit weird of looking at this, like it's not in line, but still. Open up, we go. How many do we have up here? Two as well. Don't know me that one not being. Just to double check because sometimes I'm an idiot and I miss things really easily. There's no note down here. Nope. No, no. Right. Onwards and upwards. Onwards and upwards. No. A rangers <laughs> the rangers call their base Sparta and themselves either jokingly or seriously Spartans. 
they do fit the part mind you ready to die rather than surrender they are also few just like their historical counterparts each of them is a seasoned fighter with 10 regular soldiers but they just don't have the manpower to fight a full-blown war or stand against the legions of the dark ones that's why miller plan miller's plan is our only chance find and still find a still operable missile launch site command the missiles and burn the dark one's nest to cinders if we pull it off our casualties should be minimal while my home station and home metro with it saved seems like a perfect plan but something is worrying me there seems to be a weak spot in it something is not right i can't shake the feeling that we're making a mistake There's a key there. Yes. Yes, I probably shouldn't have come down here in hindsight, but you know. Ah, that's where we go. Booby traps. There it is. Oh, 
fucking hate booby traps. Not a chance did that get me then. <laughs> That's what I call the ultimate bowl. Bastards and bastards. Fuck you.
through the main reading hall, all right? Mm -hmm. No freezing here. Let's go. Ah, oh, no way. We're missing another one. I've, uh, I'm blind. Or I've missed another one further back again. But where I would have missed it, I don't know. wrong button well it isn't down here that much we do know I 
doing so, you would have. I would have jumped down here. And that's when I would have accidentally tripped that. So yeah, different directions take us to different places. Understandably, understandably. So. I think um, I don't think we're gonna find it that way. It's fine. It's fine. Away. But we can't go back by those things either. So we're gonna have to deal with the loss yeah it is what it is fine no you would have thought it'd be round here but uh, I guess not unless it's inside here but I believe this is something else Seems to be correct. Hmm. Guys, a flock of birds came to see us. <laughs> I read and I reread all the books we had at the station till they fell apart. I always rushed to the traders coming home from their far dest uh, stations to be the first to try and barter for a few greasy tomes they could have brought, even though nobody else would ever want them. Here, I read anything. When you live 60 meters under the ground, books become your only window. I worship books, so try and imagine my feelings at the sight of the great library, the shrine to all the important books ever written in human history. But I almost not, uh, uh, but I must not forget the reason that brought me to this place if I let myself get distracted started browsing these half rotten moldy tomes the library will swallow me up whole forever what the hell a snake that means ice okay, just you guys hold out there friends yeah
Hello, friends. Can I leave this room? Don't go anywhere. We'll come for you on our way back. <laughs> it's joke. Well, the opposite too. Any longer, and those beasts would have ripped us apart. Would work or mm. Tell you that though. Press the wrong button as usual. Wait, sure, yeah. Okay. I'm assuming that big creaky chandelier. That's what we're shooting. Shooting the real good, we don't want to shoot my own. <laughs> You'll keep packing with every end. My oh my, you probably read about it in books of the sand. Must have been beautiful ones. <laughs> this nocturne, librarians are some of the most dangerous creatures out here. If you meet one, or two, God forbid, don't fight it. But don't run from it either. The beasts won't attack you if you look them in the eye. Now remember, never let them out of your sight. Show them your back, you die. Okay, if a beast gets nervous, move away, but slowly. And if you shoot, well, look or don't look, you won't see anything ever again. Mm. Damn it. 
Okay, he's still alive. Artyom, I must take him to Polis. Mm -hmm. You'll have to find the map yourself. Here are the floor plans. The entrance to the military archive is somewhere on the first floor of the library. The door the librarian went through leads there. Lovely. There's not much time. Dawn's coming. Come now, and remember what I told you about the beast, okay? I'll try to come back as soon as possible. Go. I was alone again, and soon I would look into the eyes of fear, literally. Librarians, by the looks of things. friends shit could hit the fan here so let's go in right you thought I was gonna end it there it was a good thing Giving me the old heebly jeebly, so.
I was alone again. You fucking cheated. Fucking cheater. You motherfucker. Okay, yeah, so they're impossible to kill. So why the fuck? I was alone again. Does it just keep on instantly attacking me? Like a as soon as it sees, as soon as it's called, as soon as it sees me, it just comes straight for me. alone again I don't like this part one bit This is where I live now. I was alone. And as soon as I would look into the eyes of fear, literally. Okay, we have been numb. Knowledge is power. A worn out slogan before the war. Nobody probably ever thought of its actual meaning anymore. Knowledge was available to anyone. By the stepfather told me... My stepfather told me a portable phone could answer any question at a flick of a finger. Nobody cared much about studying, searching for new information, and remembering any informa uh, any remembering it anymore. And then, in a single moment, all the information vanished. The phone lines went dead. The phone batteries discharged, and those who were reluctant to admit knowledge into their heads were left with empty heads knowledge became power and precious commodity again too precious here in the great library 
more knowledge about the earth and the people is probably stored than anywhere else but each letter read from it vast vault has to be paid for in blood all these gentlemen died You're gonna have a, oh, a heart attack. Yes.
The underground depository was a frightening place, and I had no idea where or what to search. But I refused to think that all my efforts would come to nothing. That was an absolute goddamn nightmare. My heart could not take any more of whatever that was. The amount of jump scares I went through then was horrendous. And that's where we're going to leave it. Thank God as well. We'll see you all in the next one where we're in the archives. Because if I go through any more like that with those librarians, I'm going to die. Inside, figuratively, and li literally. Holy, I need to take a break. Again, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.